All right, brothers and sisters, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I'm going to tell you here, before, we, before I get started, uh, I'm down here, and I've got me a little stop. I stop every time I'm traveling, going somewhere on this route here. So I'm here now at my little stop here. And I'm taping in my car. And, and from what I see here, uh, of me beginning to tape this session here, it's pretty dark. Being that I'm a dark guy anyway, amen, there, there, uh, 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 there's no reason for you to believe that I'm any other than an African, or should I say American, African, amen, from African uh, descent, <laughs> amen. <laughs> if, we, if, we, if, if we haven't deduced that I'm, 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 I'm a, a descendant of, of the darker skin and race, you need you need some glasses, my brother and my sister. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So I just thank God for a wonderful day. And we are back together again on this day here. In each other midst. And um, I've been thinking about some things over the week. And I've been seeing how things are being are uh, played out within the what, what one would call the secular world, you know, the Gentile world or the heathen world, or just in this planet Earth, period. The world that exists operate uh, by the power of the evil the evil uh, spirit, huh? By Lucifer, Satan, the fallen angel. Amen. He operate in the sense that most of uh, humanity have decided to serve him and listen to him rather than listen to him who made the earth and everything there there is even the world god made it amen he framed it he, god is the true creator he's the true descendant of truth righteousness and justice amen so i thought i just bring that forth first and let you know that even though we would like to have a separation between uh, the what we call it the world and and uh, and people of religion you know especially the, the religion of Christianity we would like to say that's separate the church and state idea or ideology of of that, you know what I mean? The idea that people have of God being separate from uh, 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 the thing that is ran or operated by Satan in this earth ran when he's the creator of all things. He even created Lucifer. He didn't he created Lucifer in the state that he's in now, but he in the beginning, Amen. He created, he created him. Amen. Uh, perfect. Perfect in the sense that he was complete because guess what? He was uh, a representative of his creator, God. Amen. God of creation. On that premises alone. Just like some of us, we trying to say, well, we, I'm not religious. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not unreligious. I'm not, what are you, Lord? I'm messing. You, you don't know what you are, who you are, where you come from. I mean, what are you? You ain't nothing. <laughs> Maybe something in your eyesight, but you ain't nothing in the eyes of God. Lord, I'm missing. 
you know so so we let this separate you know and, you know you know we let it separate you know and 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 just thinking about it 99% of the time now with probably still 100% of the time you know people utilize that plat platform of separation to accomplish their desire their evil and wicked desire in their heart to control see and to steal that which is of God see they can't see they, they love to see the righteousness of God they want it see but they can't get it because they want it in the wrong way so they cover it co cover it see see they desire something that really actually don't belongs to them see so today we'll be we'll, we're just gonna be uh, talking. I am about some very very important thing that is facing every ethnic group upon this planet Earth. Whether your ethnicity is uh, 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 a Middle Eastern, well, East ain't no such thing in Middle East. Uh, Eastern or Europe, European, you know, um, Asia or Asian, you know what I mean? Whatever descendant you deem yourself uh, as an offspring thereof, we're going to be talking about the whole Kabuta today. See, and the reason why we're going to be talking about this right here because God wants to show us plainly some things that we thought we knew and we don't know. And it's some things that we have in us that we operate and really don't even understand why we operate in such manner. You see? All right. Also, too, I want to take time out for my brothers and my sisters. Assalamualaikum, Amen. Uh, may Allah may you have peace and blessings of Allah. And now, uh, truly, the magnificent He is one God, the only God. Now. By me just saying that alone, 9.9% .9 of you in this country, he already deduced right now, he's Muslim. See? He serve another God. He serve Allah. You see, but out of ignorance and laziness, you see, you don't understand what I've just said in greetings to my brothers and my sisters of the African descent. You don't understand. So let me give you some understanding so you can say, okay, I understand now. Amen. I can understand now. See, Allah is a name for the word G-O-D, God the Magnificent, in Arabic, over there in the East, the Eastern Hemisphere. You see what I'm saying? Now we call in English God, God, they call God Allah over there. It's just like uh, Hispanics or people of Spanish origin, they call Jesus Jesus, but it's still Jesus. You see what I'm saying? So these are names in their proper origin of where they originated from. So, see what I'm saying? So, God, the magnificent, or God, the only God, true God, he's still God. Are you getting this here? Assalamu alaikum is just a what? It's a, it's a, Lord have mercy. Man. I would have somebody at the park near me. I don't care. It's it, it just a greeting that they greet each other with. May the pieces and blessings of Almighty God, Allah, be upon thee. See? See? 
So, so let me teach you a little bit here. Some of you know this. So you understood what I was saying. You see what I'm saying? You see? It's just like the Hebrew. They call Jesus what? Uh, Yahshua. I believe that's how it go. You see what I'm saying? But it still means what? God. Y'all getting this? Are you getting this? So I'm still Christian. Christ-like. In the book of Acts. Christ. Huh? When the word originated. Christian. Huh? A, a, a follower of Christ Jesus. Or the word of God. Or God. There ain't but one God. For God said, I am the God. The only God. The true and living God. See? There's none beside me and none what? After me. I have no beginning, have no end. So I'm just trying to throw some of your way here now. So you can understand. Don't don't push the button there. Cut me off and tell he all or he brought it. No, 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 no. No, don't do that. Because there's a whole lot of religions in this earth realm. Whole lot of them. And even within their, uh, even within their religion, they have problems. It's like the, it's like the Christian has problems in their religion. Who they have problems in, uh, in he or her, whatever religion. And other groups claim to be this, that, other of the true and living God. See, they have problems in that setting or that group that they call themselves the Baptists, the Presbyterian. That's why so much. Separation going on. That's how they're all what? Separate. They can't come on one the same page. And then one, one group that can come on the same page, supposed to be, and that is what? Christians. Huh? The quite black people. See? One God. One Holy Ghost. One faith. Huh? One spirit. Almighty God. See? We believe that. So, 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 so we, we, we got to, up, we, we must understand this right here. All right. So when I come and I greet the brothers and the sister, don't get all, say, oh, he's a Muslim. Oh, he, ma, he's a Muslim. He don't believe, he believe in Allah. Oh, you understand what Allah, I tell you what Allah is. You understand? Understand what Allah, Allah is. Allah is, a, is, 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 is a name given to God over there in, 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 in Arabic over there in the East. That's what it is. See? Huh? See? Jesus. Jesus, the English name of Yahshua. Or Yahweh. Huh? God Jehovah. Come on. Jews call what? God Jehovah. The only true and living God. God of creation. See? So do some study before you start saying, okay, this, that, and the other. Making a making a a, 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 a point that will be so strong that you you are not understanding what you actually are saying. Alright? So we got that out of the way. I ain't gonna be late labor that. Now we go a little further here. And we back over here in the United States of America. Among the African descent and all kinds of descent that came from Europe or all over across this planet here and, and migrated and immigrate. <laughs> what, what do you call it? Immigrants <laughs> over here. That's where this country is built, built, up, built upon people such as such as uh, people that have come from here and, and all over. And they have come here and then they got a nerve enough to want to uh, discriminate and stuff from everybody else that come over here. Well, that's, that's something else, man. I mean, you know, we, we, we some, we some uh, very strange, we ain't strange. We are just some very selfish people. All of us does not make what, uh, does not make any different what color your skin you are, you know? Huh? Oh, hey, it, just, it don't, man. It's, it's the inside. It's the spirit. It's what's on the inside. All right? All right.
Let me make somebody mad this morning. All right, look at here. I want to talk to my brothers and my sisters. Hey, Amen. That's why I sent this greetings out. But because I can't talk to the real smart ones, the smart ones that ain't never been through nothing. Or with the little stuff that they've been through, they think that's a whole, a whole lot. And, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know, and, and uh, that little stuff that they ain't gone through, you know, they think that way. It might be, it might be big to them. I, I ain't gonna say they never gone. I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna draw that, redraw that back. It might be big to them, you know what I mean? Views in the eyes of the beholder. You know what I mean? So people have different views on different things. But the reason why I uh, incorporate the greetings of my brothers and my sisters, amen, is because that I want to talk to you this morning. So I allow God to just use me to gather all our minds, heart, soul together this morning. So we can consider some things here that's going on in this country here that is facing the black man, the black woman, the red man, even the white man. Huh? See? The yellow. Huh? The brown. Huh? All of us, from every walk of life, there's some things facing us. And we need to get some clarity of what these things are and what's really truly going on. Okay? Now, let me roll this strip back here for a minute with this country here. This country here, and what I mean the country, see, land is just land. But it's a reflection of what's uh, on that land. You see what I'm saying? Before you feel a, before you build a house, you got to have the land. You got to have the foundation. See? You can start out with a weak foundation or a strong foundation. Nevertheless, it's got to be a foundation. It got to be some under debt that holding up that you're going to put on top of that foundation. Okay? And whatever you put on the foundation represents what? that area or that land you see what i'm saying if you build lies hatred and deception on that land then that land is going to be what a weak foundation based primarily because what is built on the land Oh, it can build, it can start out as a strong land. You see what I'm saying? But what you built on that land is going to affect whether that land is going to be a strong foundation or a weak foundation. So what have happened here is that this land here, over here, everything God built is strong. He says it's not only just good, but it's, it's, it's real good. See? That's the adjective God put behind it. He said it's real good. See? So let's look at planet Earth here, especially, especially over here in this country here. This land was a strong land. See? But because of the sins of men, see, and mankind, the land became weak. Why? Because men and mankind, see, has forfeited that that holiness or that righteousness that God had made man there a part of in the end. So man sinned, and when man sinned, man produced mankind. One man is a part of mankind because she was taken out of man. See? So everybody that is a sinner Wherever they stand, they will affect the land that they stand upon. See? Wherever they rule, they will affect the surroundings thereof. You see what I'm saying? See? The only time that the land will become stronger 
excuse me, again and work with what's built on that land is when that which is built on the land changed its mindset, repent, and turn back to God that made what? The land and made it stronger, what? At the beginning. Are y'all getting this here? So here we find here in this country here, when this country first existed, and like I say, this country is a young country. You know what I mean? It's a young country. Probably only 400 plus years. Maybe three, I don't know. But I know it's a young country. See? Everybody didn't cross every T and dot every I like it's supposed to. But they had some value. They had some principles of God when they were establishing their presence over here in this land here, what we call today as the United States of America. And based on that, God worked with what he saw that came out from them because of their initiative to understand to some degree the word of God, the righteousness, justice, holiness, love, caring for people, rather than caring for themselves, governing in truth, righteousness, and justice. See? And this land shot off. I mean, God, I mean, it just got blessed. Just with that little bit that they showed. See? See? But over the years, over the years, over the centuries, this land has become weakened by what? By those that have sought to separate themselves from God. Are y'all with me on this? Hang with me now. Help me, Holy Ghost. See? Separating themselves from not just the word G-O-D, not just the word J-U-S-U-S, -S, not just the word Allah, not just the word Jesus, not just the word Yahweh, not just the word uh, Joshua, or Yah Yah Yahshua, you know, see? But that which makes God who God really is, truth, righteousness, justice, holy, the ways, the character, see? The image, see? The likeness, see? There's an enemy in the camp, which is Satan, See, that bottles the hearts and minds of those that have sinned. And here we find ourselves here. We find ourselves here weakened based on the simple fact that we are sinners. And we have distanced ourselves from, from God. See? And what did I say God represents? Everything that God represents, we are distant ourselves from that. And I'm going to show you some proof here. Just hang in there. I'm, this, hey, this is a blessing, y'all. Look, look, look at me. Look at me now. All right? Look at me. Concentrate. Concentrate. We sought to have separate us. We, we, we sought. No, we seek to separate ourselves from God. Now, now, what I'm talking about. From good. Doing good. Righteousness. Justice. Holiness. Everything. The fruits of the spirit. The fruits of God's word. We are shown to separate ourselves from that. See? Because of the sin that is in us. See? And sin comes from what? Disobedience of God's will, law, teaching, doctrine. Not just the Ten Commandments only. Everything that God is about in that book that was told to us by his prophets, his apostles, huh? even Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, and everybody else that was on God's side. You see? Lucifer has an open door policy to all those that seeks to do 
the thing that is that is not of God. Lucifer can come in that door anytime. You don't gave him the key, told him which way to turn the knob. No, he don't have to wipe his feet. Come right on in there with a bunch of sin. Said more demon worth than the ones that's already in there. And that thing continue to what? Perpetuate. Grow and grow and grow. You see what I'm saying? See? And when, and when he bring that sin in, 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 into your soul, into your spirit, when he bring that into you, then what he does, he bring things that keep you in bondage. You see what I'm saying? See? That you might continue to be a woman and a man to him, for him, belonging to him, a servant of his. See? So what all this have to do with what I'm carrying you? A whole lot. A whole lot. I want you to understand here why the justice system of this country here is so evil, so wicked, so unfair, and just, and it will never, ever be anything else but that. Because of their mindset to obey what? Lucifer, the fallen angel, his teaching, his doctrine. I don't care how good they dress, how good they talk. See? They will never ever be able to change the MO of the enemy of God, Lucifer, the fallen angel, the devil, Satan. The evil one. He got many titles. So that God got many titles. Lucifer got many titles. See? See? Now, let's go to the justice department here in this country here. Because I told you all, when you voted last year, whatever the case may be, I told you that Biden don't care nothing about us. Just like Trump didn't care nothing about us, like Obama didn't care nothing about us, like so many others, presidents of this country here didn't care, did not care anything about what? God's creation. You see what I'm saying? Now, 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 see, a lot of you first say, well, I different. Well, didn't they do this? And didn't they say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, you got to understand that all good things come from God. You see what I'm saying? All good things come from God. See? A fountain cannot yield sweet water and bitter water at the same time. You see what I'm saying? Because somebody come and do a little good for you, that don't mean that good is good. See? In the sense of that they have God in mind and you in their heart. See? Because any time they do something, what they call, what we even say, will look good, and then they come out and do something, what, that, that is look bad, to overwhelm that good that they done, it tells me what? It tells me something. They tell you, when they did it, they did it for what? See? They had arterial motives when they did it. You understand what I'm saying? Are y'all are y'all getting there? You see what I'm saying? So all these politicians, titian, politicians, and whosoever, see, that's into separation of truth and error. See, trying to separate truth from all, from, from, from what they're doing, that is error. See, see, they're not dealing from the deck. They're dealing off the top of the deck or, or on the bottom of the deck. They got what? They got their own arterial motive. And let me let, 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 let me get raw on you right now. Let me get raw on you. Look. Look. All this stuff here. All this stuff here. All this stuff here. That's going on in the judiciary system. Department of Justice. DOJ and all that mess right there. The lawyers, the judges and all that right there. 